Am I dating someone? Well, hello, kitties. It's Jakey here, and welcome back to my channel. And today, I am going to answer some questions because I have recently made a post telling you guys to send me some questions. Because I don't know why, I just feel like it's that time uh, of the year, of the month again, where I want to make, uh, you know, a face cam video <laughs> where I can, you know. Um, did I just see? Okay, I just saw something flying by. I thought it was a mosquito. Oh, okay, it was just okay. It was just a dust. Okay, okay, we're clear. We're fine. All right. Um, I'm about to you know freak out if that. Oh, okay. Oh, bless you, Dad. You know I don't know if, if that picked up, but you know he just have like a triple sneeze. I hope he's doing fine. Anyway, <clears throat> this is not about my dad. This is not about anyone else, but it's about me. You know, you guys want to know more about me because for some reason I. Um, you know, there's something that is interesting about me, I guess. Alright, so I got some questions on my phone already, so I'm gonna try my best to go through every single one of them. Uh, I will try. I mean, I'm, I don't think I can get through all of them, but you know, I will try my best. Anyway, the first question is, why did you become a Minecraft YouTuber in the first place? Which is a really good question, because I think I've talked about why I did YouTube in the first place, but I don't think I've ever... Uh, address like why be why did you like yeah I can't talk I, I can't talk every day honestly uh, why is it Minecraft specifically um, I guess I mean uh, I had like a not so good time during my university years um, sad times and uh, but during the you know the, the sad dark ages of my life I discovered YouTube and the, the thing that I watched the most is Minecraft. Because um, back then I was uh, such a big fan of, you know, Hunger Games. And I found out that uh, you can play Hunger Games in Minecraft. And I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool. It's just like the movie. So I started watching, I started watching um, uh, some local YouTubers doing a few of them. And then I decided to look for more. And then I found out more. And I eventually. Um, I remember I started watching a little bit of uh, Joey Gustavus doing Hunger Games and then I discovered um, um, Stacy Place which is my main inspiration and eventually got me into the cube. I don't know if anyone, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> like back in the days, the cube days, uh, and then I just started, you know, um, watching a lot of them and then eventually I was like, oh my god, they're so cool, they, like, I, I appreciate how people they were able to um, uh, do things in Minecraft based on what they like or you know the ideas that they have and they kind of you know, turn them into reality in a game which is Minecraft so eventually uh, when I decided to really do do YouTube I was like you know I'm going to do Minecraft because that's what I like what I watch and and yeah basically that's how I got into Minecraft YouTube so yeah here I am I mean, some people will probably say like you should do something else, but I'm a really dedicated person, so uh, I guess um, I'm still <laughs> sticking with it uh, until um, maybe I realize like it's not working anymore. So we'll see. Uh, so far, it's still okay. So uh, I'm still doing it. So yeah, Minecraft YouTube. I love it. You know, that was so weird. Why did I say that? Uh, anyway, I've always wanted to know how you got into singing and singing for the channel. I mean, I always like a singing, I like musicals, I like, you know, uh, I am a big fan of Glee. Um, I wish it's uh, one of the big reasons of me doing all those singing stuff in the show. Um, uh, I, I just like singing in general, you know, I just like, you know, it's, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but um, my family doesn't really know that I really like singing. So most of the time I tried my best to record singing. When I do singing, I also do it when there's no one home. Um, and uh, yeah, they don't know about it, so. Hey, my friend, when are you going to bring back Cookie Jakey? No, never, never, okay? <laughs> Maybe, uh, no, actually, no, never. We don't talk about Cookie Jakey anymore. Okay. What has been your favorite origin so far? Um, of course, for origin. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Origins of Olympus, I guess. Um, I always feel like I've 
uh, the storyline of that is just the best and I like the ending of it the most. I, I don't know, there's just something, you know, about Origin of Olympus that I really like, you know. So yeah, that's probably my favorite. It has been a while since a Majelka's episode has been uploaded. Will you make changes to the original storyline for the next episode? Uh, well, Majelka's, um, if it was me a month ago, I was, I would say like, I don't know, but right now I do know because, um, I may or may not have been, uh, working, uh, something regarding, uh, magic lick cards. Um, there is some plans going on. Um, I don't. I don't know how much I, I, I don't want to say too much because right now it literally just uh, got started again you know there's some plans um, what what can I really say honestly um, Majelicus 2.0 you know um, it's gonna be shorter but it's gonna be more at the same time so uh, Something is happening, you know, uh, as, as I'm definitely working on, we're definitely working on something. So, uh, stay tuned, um, maybe this summer. So we will see. Um, it's going to be Majelica's, but it's going to be different. It's going to be fresh, but also with the things that you know, but it also will probably feel like a whole new show. So, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say for now. I realize. Oh, I just, I just hit my keyboard. Okay. I don't know if you noticed. I try to, I try to switch my sitting position, but it's not that comfortable actually. Have you got any ideas or plans for future series? If yes, what are the options, or is it a surprise? Uh, you know, perfect full of question. You know, um. Majelicus, um, something is happening for that. So, you know, 2.0, that's something. Uh, but I also uh, have been working on um, fully cinematic uh, role play. Um, it's been working for a while. Like the idea actually um, uh, happened, like kind of like around last year, like September, I've been working on it. It's been slow, but recently I've picked it back up. You know, like, doing Origins is a lot of work, so I've been focusing on Origins, but now I am shifting my focus, I'm going back to my roots, uh, back to cinematic uh, roleplay, because, like, deep down, I feel like that's where I truly belong, and I really like doing show- Okay, honestly, I'm- Oh, I just hit- Okay, I just can't sit like this, you know, it's tiring. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna sit normally, be a normal person, so, um... Um, yeah, I'm working on another series, um, I don't want to say, like, you know, I don't want to, like, spoil too much or say too much, uh, until I have everything figured out, because I don't want to say something and then they turn out not to be the case. But this other series I'm working on, right now I'm working on uh, writing the story, the summary, I'm sorry, not even a script. It's gonna be, like, a kind of a 10 episode-ish kind of series, uh... Like, with at least a season, like, uh, I don't know if there's gonna be a season, but like, you know, um, just wanna keep it one season first, like, kind of like a Netflix show. Right now, uh, I have summaries written down, like, all the characters, all the things planning out. Uh, right now, I'm writing summary for, um, for this series. I'm, I'm, right now, I'm on episode 3, and there's already, like, 17 pages. 17, not 70, 17. But I think we just, which I still think is still kind of crazy, you know? Um, I'm really taking my time on this one and I want this one to be really good. It's gonna be really complicated, really dark, uh, really intense, uh, you know? It's gonna be some, you know, blood, you know? It's gonna be a little bit of a, um, you know, I'm just gonna say this. It's gonna be a little bit of a murder mystery going on. Um, but I really like the concept of it, uh, but it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of work to, to get it right. Because, you know, it's very complex, everything is connected, um, just a lot of twists, you know, it's gonna be exciting. Uh, but I don't want to say anything until I have everything ready, because, like, this is... 
Because I don't want to make uh, the same mistake like what I did with Majelicus where, you know, uh, where you, you have like a few episodes and then and then you don't have it and then you have to wait for like another month. Like I want to release the series when I'm ready with everything. So like when you're gonna see it, I already have most of the things edited and ready to release. So I can basically drop all the episode. Not not that I'm gonna do that, but like uh, there won't be any like delay or pauses like when a series going. So we will see. So that's um, some series that I uh, have in mind. Basically like two ongoing big projects, like cinematic, when it comes to cinematic side, obviously Origin is still happening. So yeah. Um, we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna play the waiting game. Uh, things are gonna be a little bit slow for the next few months because I'm focusing on some bigger stuff. So let's hope for the best, you know. How did you meet the famous films? Um, actually, I don't. I don't really remember. I remember um, I saw Brian um, us looking at my who who subscribed to me, and uh, one day I just realized oh my god this famous film person is subscribed to me I was like oh my god he's really famous like why did he subscribe to me like why and I don't know eventually I guess we follow each other on Twitter and you know back then with Majelicus I, I, I guess I just kind of messaged him which I don't know talking and I was like hey do you want to be part of Majelicus or something and then I guess and we we started to get to know each other I guess uh, and obviously I Got to meet him um, two years ago during Minecraft Sacramento. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, how we meet each other. Um, so yeah. How did you feel when people started to ship you with Brian? Uh, I gotta say, uh, at the very beginning, I was like, ooh, you know, who like, it's kind of like, I was like, oh my God, people are really like, you know, intense with it. I was, I don't know what what to do really exactly at the beginning, but now I'm okay with it, you know? Now I'm just like, no, cool, you know, just breaky, you know? It's nothing really special. Uh, but I know a lot of people like it, so, you know, uh, and I and I think it's a really interesting um, ship, so I definitely interested to keep on, do whatever I can do, you know, to please all of you. <laughs> I'm, and I'm having fun. It's not like I'm not, and I, I like it. So uh, I, I like um, you know giving people hope and then taking it away and then breaking their hearts. You know that's what I like to do. You know, would there be a second season of Storybook Sagas? Heck yeah, yes. I don't know why I hesitated for like a second. Yes, you know. I mean, if you watched last episode, uh, uh, like the latest one, you should be able. To, to see a little tease at the end. Uh, we are obviously working it. Obviously Starbucks Sagas, it's it's an improv series, but also it's kind of, it has its cinematic bits and a lot of singing involved. So that is like a challenging part. And you know, sometimes YouTube like likes to copyright it. These not like to copyright it. So we're gonna try our best to work through, you know, all the struggle. So sometimes it's take a little bit of time. So right now we definitely gonna work on it and Season two, uh, it's gonna be great. I can't wait for you guys to see uh, uh, what kind of character I'm gonna be this time around. Um, I think some of you already guessed it based on the teasers, um, but I'm I'm excited in general um, to see how you guys react to it. And you know, it's, it's definitely gonna be a fun character for sure. When will season two of Origins of Olympus come out? Um, I don't know. Hopefully soon. I don't really know the exact date, but something is happening. Something, and I'm and, I, and I'm excited. Oh gosh, I just I just did an oopsie. I just accidentally clicked a button on my phone, and now I I lost the question, and I'm now to find it again. Oh god. Okay. Ah, I did it again. Okay. I am such a mess. When is my birthday? It's September nineteenth. And how old am I? How dare you ask this question? I am definitely not 24. Um, I think I'm two. Like, yesterday I feel like I'm two. Today I feel like I am like 15, you know? It, it changes every day. So I have a question related to Origin C. We know Justin wears glasses, but Jonah doesn't. So either Jonah wears contacts or Justin wears glasses. Or Justin glasses are fake. 
Well, you know, I guess Justin just wear fake glasses. You know, you're right. Justin is a fake person. Wear fake glasses. Fake necklaces of his dad or something. You know, everything about him is fake. You know? You think Break is fake? You know, Justin is the one that is really fake from inside and out, you know? Do you still do cooking videos? Stop asking that. I'm not bringing back Cookie Jakey. Why do you guys want to bring it back Cookie Jakey? It's a cringy series and I don't want to go back to it. I mean, I still like cooking, but you know, maybe. No, actually, no, 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 no. Don't give me like ideas. <laughs> what is my favorite character out of all the role plays? Honestly, it's hard to tell, but I can tell you which one I hate the most, Connor. If you know who Connor is, I hate him. I hate him so much. He ruins my life. Which roleplay would I bring back? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, obviously, um, Spice of Life. It's so good. Is there going to be a plot twist in a roleplay? I mean, honey, uh, like, do you know me? I mean, I am the king of all the plot twists. I give you all the twists and turns and everything. You know, always. All the cliffhangers, all the twists. I got you, you know, if I do a role play and if I spend a lot of time on that, it's gonna be, you know, plot twists every second, alright? Do you think I've done more with future JT? Um, I think I, I think yeah, you know, uh, when it comes to Fairy Tale Origins. Um, I wish I could have done more, honestly. Um, I mean, Fairy Tale Origins as a whole is pretty cool. I think I did okay, but I obviously there are parts of it that I feel like I could, could have done more. Um, I feel like the, the, the ending could have been a little bit more impactful, but oh well, you know. You know, Origins is full of compromises and, you know, <laughs> a lot of things. But, you know, maybe we haven't seen the last of Future Jakey, you know. Um, you know, when Season 2, if Season 2, I mean Season 5, apparently, happens, maybe, you know. Maybe there's more Future Jakeys, you know, we never know, right? How do I meet the people I work with on my videos? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, why people would want to work with me, you know, it, it, it's weird, you know, I, like, I don't know why, like, why people would do that, like, it's such, like, they definitely make one of the biggest mistakes of their life by, you know, working together with me. What do you think of us, your fans, I mean, oh, I hate, I'm just kidding, <laughs> I love you guys, you know, you guys are, like, really the best, I really sound really fake right now. <laughs> But yeah, no, truly, like, you know, you guys are the best. I, like, I appreciate all the love and support of all the videos, all the premieres, um, all the stream, like, you guys are crazy. Like, why do you guys like me? Like, it's weird. Like, it's, like, like, I don't think there's really that many parts of me that is cool or anything, you know? Besides Minecraft, what other games do you enjoy playing? Um... I recently got back into Overwatch. Um, before Overwatch, I kind of play Fortnite, but most of the time I spend uh, a lot of time playing on my phone. Uh, you know, just some mobile phone games. You know, that are you know addicting and just yep, <laughs> that you know. How was my day? Um, thank you for asking that. Um, tiring. I wish I got more sleep, but I also had to wake up. For a little meeting uh, for uh, um, <laughs> Majelica 2.0, um, which is worth it, you know, uh, starting things back up. Uh, but I really wish I had more sleep because the day before I was really sick. Uh, I had a stream, which uh, I mean, obviously, some of you watched it. You know, big things happen, you know, Rhino and Jakey now, like who's breaky, right? <laughs> but then after that, I just got so sick, you know, maybe it was a curse, you know, Brian cursed me or something, you know, put us curse or spell on me. I was like really sick, you know, for the rest of the day and so I definitely wish I got more sleep but you know, here I am waking up early, kinda ish, and then go to a meeting and then now I'm recording this video. So yeah, uh, my day um, it's just kinda started for a bit so let's see, it goes, let's hope it goes well for the rest of it. So yeah. Do you want to join a Zaddy Squad Discord server? That's Sounds like a really cool Discord, you know? Not that I think that I'm a zaddy, but, you know... Uh, but yeah, thanks for asking this question, you know? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Gosh, people keep asking me, do you want to join a Kirby cult? Heck yeah, I love Kirby. Good old Kirby. 
you're welcome, you know. A kiss from Kirby is, you know, what you all need in your life, honestly. Have I heard of the fan-made Origins original Z? Of course, I freaking love it. Me as a mermaid. I love it. I've saw I've seen lots of it and you know, it's really good. I'm I'm it's crazy to see how you guys can make all those things, you know, all dedication, you know. I wish I had that because I've been slacking lately. So show me the ways honestly. Does your family know that you have a channel? Um that's actually a really good question. When I first started it, they don't know it. I kinda made up like, you know, like a lie, you know, kinda I was like I'm doing this for school, you know, uh, recording, uh, like, doing voice acting, uh, you know, for education videos of some sort, you know. To this day, they still think that is true. Uh, let's hope they don't watch it. I don't think they're gonna watch this part, but, you know. Uh, yeah, there's some lie, but not, not like, not I know. I mean, it's been a, a learning pro progress, process, like, that, that, I can't talk. Um, yeah. They're trying to understand at first they were kind of like oh what is this they don't know anything about it but now they know more about it which is good um uh but still there's still so much more i wish they could have understand or learn but you know we're getting there so hopefully things are gonna get better will you make a superhero role play um actually um i was planning to make one or i mean i still am okay so when Majel Majelica is go still going on, I was planning to introduce, you know, another superhero to story, kind of like a a series from the same universe. Obviously, you know, things happen with Majelica. We don't talk about it. Um, I, I had a plan of it, um, which uh, right now is still planned, but I just decided to do other things first before coming back to this one. This superhero is going to do like a really. Um, if you watch The Flash, it's kind of like similar to The Flash kind of show with a main character who's a superhero kind of of a city. Um, obviously, it's a Majelica. Um, but uh, I, I put a lot of thought in it and I decided to wait for it a little bit more because a superhero series, if you want me to make it, it's gonna be a lot of work because I, I'm gonna want to make it the best. There's gonna be a lot of special effects. Uh, right now, I feel like it's not the best series to 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 bring to 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 you know introduce because right now I kind of like didn't do as much of cinematic role play, so I thought I wanted to uh, bring back something else first to get you guys hyped up with like you know the cinematic side first, and then then I bring back that because that one is like it has requires a lot of like production value, so I wasn't sure if that was the best series to introduce uh, first, so I decided to go with the added, other ideas I <laughs> I can't talk, the other ideas that I have, uh, which is, you know, um, you know, the Majelica stuff 2.0, and also this other murder mystery thingy that I have going on. Will we see Breaky again? I mean, Breaky is everywhere, but if you want to see more Breaky, I have some good news for you because it's that time of the year again. Last year we got to see the beginning of it and it's been almost a year so you know it's gonna be a lot of breaky coming up. You know, Origins Olympus, Fairy Tale Origins, Season 2, Season 5, whenever they happen, you know, those two are a very, you know, breaky centric series so stay tuned. What is your experience with storybook sagas? Is that like one of your favorite things to make? Uh, honestly, I really like storybook sagas. Like the idea of it is just really cool. It's like going to storybooks and I get to play, I mean, <laughs> hello, I get to play Queen Elsa. So, you know, it's, it's you know, my only dream ever. And I got to live that in Minecraft, which is amazing. And I got to sing Let It Go for, for like what? The, the third time or something? Is it the third time? How many times have I sang Let It Go? I've sang it once. Um, oh, is it the second time? It's a sec- Actually, I don't know. I've sang it once on Original Olympus. Original- <laughs> Origins of Olympus. No, and then Storybook Sagas. Did I Why did I sing third time? Why did I sing it the third time? Did I? But yeah, like the idea of it, you know, I- I've been a- I like- I'm a big fan of Disney, so like going to do that, um, 
in Starbucks Saga is really cool. The only thing that I... It's not really cool as, you know, all the copyright stuff. Uh, that was the only thing that's kind of like a setback. But other than that, it's, and like, Storybook Saga is definitely one of the favorite things that I've done. And, you know, just to live in my fantasy, because you know me, I love to live in a fantasy. And I got to do that, so that's great, you know. Also, um, I'm kind of hungry right now. <laughs> the food. I don't have food. I just, just got some tea with me right now, so that's not the best. I'm, I'm probably gonna eat some after this, but you know. Blood sugar level is, you know, getting low and I'm like, ah. Why is Kirby always just stuffed animal in every series? I mean, why not? Like, we love Kirby. Like, Kirby deserves all the love, so... Like, I don't get why this is a question, you know? We love Kirby and... I want Kirby to be with me all the time. Pokey couples with the famous films. I mean, I'm down. If I mean, if Bride is down and and yeah, you know, sure, you know, if I get invited, you know, sure, I'll be done with that. You know, I'm sure a lot of you wanted that. You know, <laughs> what is my favorite song that I have done in a series? Um, honestly, I've done so many songs that I like one of my recent favorite ones is definitely um um the one that i did for origin z which is called against all odds uh you know all, all you can call it take a look at me now that's one of my favorite songs because uh i i just love how i did it it's just like you know it's one of the songs that you feel like it's your jam you know like when i sing it i just feel like I did really good, like I really hit the notes and I really put in the emotion. And it's actually, that song is actually, it was recorded so long ago. It was originally recorded for Supernatural Origins, but you know, stuff happened, you know, whatever. I didn't get to do it. Um, so uh, I did it in Origin Z and it worked out well and somehow still fit the story. And it's one of my, favorite cover that I've ever done because I really like how I sound out and, and I don't really say that that often. Uh, so yeah, I guess that, that's one of my favorite, you know, against all odds. Any tips on motivation, like gaining motivation motivation to do something? Girl, I hope you, I, I wish you, I mean, honestly, I, I feel like I need some tips as well, you know, I, I've been like slacking, procrastinating. Um, but I guess, you know, um, I guess, you just really gotta love what you're doing, you know? Like, if you're not feeling it, you know, there's no way you can have, you can be motivated to do it. So just really make sure you're comfortable with what you're doing, doing what you love. Because uh, if you don't like what you're doing, you know, there's no way people can, what, or what I, whatever things can make you do it, you know? So uh, just gotta make sure you're in a good state good mental state, you know, you're feeling great and then you love what you're doing, then most likely you're gonna be really motivated eventually to do things. Obviously, you know, there are other things like food, you know, Netflix. Um, gosh, guys, I love my family. <laughs> I hope it didn't pick up, pick up, but you know, they just love talking loudly. Okay, these are some great questions. All right, does being a YouTuber change you in terms of personality or maybe timing? I don't really get a timing part, but like, honestly, I feel like it does. I don't know, it's a weird thing. I feel like I have been more confident uh, when I did YouTube at the beginning, and then it started to fade away. Uh, and right now I'm trying to rebuild the confidence again. It's weird because like I feel like I started doing YouTube and then you take risks and then s slowly you found a place and then I feel like I'm starting to 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 s play it safe uh, and then that's when I feel like I go back to my my own little shallow bubble and then now I'm trying to realize that it's becoming an issue like I need to find the confidence take more risks again so I'm trying to break through so it's kind of like um you know like a curve like you know like process uh so um honestly it changed it fluctuates I feel like I have uh 
been more confident for for some time, and then not as much recently. And I'm trying to uh, break out of my shell again, that kind of thing. So let's see how it goes. You know, <laughs> I don't really know. I always wonder how you became a part of the Origins crew. Uh, how do you meet them? Honestly, um, I always I always thought that it was Brian that brought me in. But fun fact, it was. I got a message from Richie, and Richie just one day asked me, Hey, do you want to be a part of the Origins? That band was four Origins. Uh, and I'm like, sure, cool, yeah. So, um, I guess, um, I, like, you know, Richie kind of uh, introduced me to this. So, here I am, doing Origin stuff. So, that's it's been pretty cool so far, uh, you know, I love the Origins. Uh, it's definitely so different from uh, what, I, what I've what i been doing before I did Origins, but I'm glad I, I got to experience this. It really allowed me to see a, a totally different side of roleplay. Um, and it definitely helped me and my channel in some ways. And, and I got to meet a lot of people, which is the most important thing, and all the people that support the series, which is you know, really awesome. So, um, yeah. Um, um, so yeah, that's how I got into Origins Group, and eventually I got to meet everyone, because you know, through doing collabs and doing stories with them. So it's been a, it's been a really uh, great experience for the most part. I ever thought of making my very own Minecraft server, like you know, like a server where you know people hang out, like mini games. Honestly, I thought about it, but I don't. Thing I, I'm at a place where I should do it, you know. Maybe in the future, uh, when things get uh, even better, uh, when I become like super famous, you know. <laughs> but definitely, I thought about it. Um, but, but then I'm not really like a mini game type of Minecraft YouTuber. I'm like role play, so I don't know. Well. Uh, definitely thought about it, but like if you guys have some ideas, let me know. I'm like, I, I will think about it. So yeah, I feel like I've said so yes so many times. Gosh, I need to stop saying same words and phrase over and over again. But I guess that's just kind of me because I stutter. Like, when did you learn that you could sing and how? Honestly, I don't think I've, I've really learned. I've all probably trained. I just, I just, I guess, just keep practicing. I mean, if you go back and watch one, of, listen to one of my first covers ever, which is I honestly don't go back, but like if you really want to, it's it's one of the early episodes of Spice of Life. I think the first official song that I did on my channel was when I sing um, uh, "Loser Like Me" from Glee. It was terrible the quality. Maybe one day I should react to it, you know. Uh, but I guess. Uh, with how I uh, grow, like, you know, how I do more practice and, you know, how my my voice, I get eventually settled down as, you know, back then, puberty, right? <laughs> and then now I'm kind of like, you know, it stopped. So <laughs> kind of like my voice kind of like, learn more control, I guess. All the things that have been self-taught, honestly. I, I wish I get some training, you know, maybe uh, I can one day get a proper trainer and then they can tell me just like, I, tell me that I just sound terrible. Then maybe I can get out my delusional thoughts, you know, that I am an okay singer. What is my current situation? Current situation, it's not good um, because we're trapped in a house and I can't do covers as comfortable as I used to be able to. So that's not good, but um, but I'm safe. Um, and I don't have, I'm like, you know, thank God I don't have, I'm not infected. I know some people have been asking like if I have the coronavirus, I don't have that. I just want to make it clear. And I honestly hope everyone, uh, every one of you can stay, stay safe as well. Uh, stay at home, you know, don't go out. But also part of me is very conflicting because I was like, you know, I don't want my family. I just want this to be over soon. So, you know, so things can go back to, you know, uh, normal and I can do whatever I want uh, alone in my house doing covers, you know. Uh, but in general, stay safe and hopefully the, the the virus can be over soon and we can get on with my with our life. What's my favorite blooper? Honestly, that's a really good question, but honestly, I don't really have an answer. Like, I love a lot of the bloopers that I did. 
uh, I guess, uh, I always like, uh, the bloopers behind the scene moments with Kayla. I think a lot of times, uh, we just, we just have a lot of, you know, great laughs and in general, I so it's probably, uh, my favorite bloopers probably, you know, comes from the bloopers that I have with Kayla. You know, Kayla is amazing. So if you're watching, love you girl. <laughs> How did Kirby become a mascot? That's a really good question. Um, it's it's kind of funny how it became a thing. It started in Four Origins. It literally, right before I started to record my first episode with Kayla, I just like, should I have a Kirby with me? And then I decided to do it uh, right before the recording. And then because of how my character was, I become like, you know, my character is like really whiny, just really like, you know, delusional. So worked well with having Kirby with me and I just, you know, started to call everyone Kirby and just like obsessed with Kirby and Kirby becomes a thing. And in general, I love Kirby. I love playing Kirby games. I like how he can like suck a lot of things and got the power, you know. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird, but like, I just like Kirby, you know, it's really adorable and then you can turn into many things. Yeah, I just love Kirby, you know. So I'm, you know, it just only makes sense for it to become a the mascot of my channel, right? How do I feel about the breaky protection squad, the squad server? Um, I honestly, <laughs> I didn't know that it existed. Um, but you do you, you know? Um, I'm gonna keep breaking the ship, uh, and you guys can try your best to protect it. So we'll see how it goes. What is my dream job? Honestly, I don't really, 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 really know. I thought, honestly, you know, just whatever that can make me live in my fantasy, that I can um, create the things that I that I envisioned. So not necessarily YouTube, honestly. It can be anything that allowed me to turn my vision into reality, I guess. And also, like, jobs that don't... Uh, require me to wake up early, that would be perfect. Am I dating someone? Well, no. <laughs> Single Pringo! Gosh, there's so many questions, I don't think I can get through all of them. <laughs> and it's it has been an hour, this whole recording. In Virtual Origins, if you can pick another magic besides of your own, uh, what would it be? Oh god, yeah, this is great. Um, mind reading? Is it weird? I don't know, that's something that I can thought of, like, which is interesting because it has something to do with another, uh, the superhero series that I originally planned to do. <laughs> um, like, I don't know, I just, it's weird because, you know, things could be so much easier if you, you can know about, like, what people are thinking. So people can be, uh, you can know what they're really thinking deep down, so, you know, I don't know, just, like, I guess, like, mind reading. It's also kind of like creepy in a way if you think about it, you know, why do you want to know about everything that people think? Like, I don't know. I'm weird. When will I meet Richie and Origin Z? Honestly, soon. Uh, cause like, I, I would love to, you know, we, we have to, like we've been talking about it because, um, I, I realized like, um, out of everyone in Origins, like, um, I think I haven't done any one-on-one -on -one scenes with Richie. So, let's hope it could happen. I th it's No, it's gonna happen in Origin Z, we've talked about it. So, uh, soon, soon. Ooh, what is your favorite genre of character? Example, shy people, mean people, basically favorite personality of characters. I love messed up people. I love really complicated characters. <laughs> I love people, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's just kind of me, you know. I love characters that have, that, I don't, I hate simple characters. I want, I like character that, as troubled, like with a lot going on, you know, uh, really dark, like look good on the, like it seems fine on the outside, but actually deep down they are suffering. I love those kind of characters and they usually don't get nice things, which hence why most of the characters I created, uh, especially back in the days in Majelicus, you know, they don't get happy endings. <laughs> I feel so evil, but yeah, I love, well, I love com complicated characters. I, I, I love characters that has a lot of depth to them. So, yeah. Anyway, I guess that's all the questions that I'm gonna answer for now. I know I missed out a few. Uh, hopefully I will make another like Q&A video next time so we can get through that because it's been over an hour. This 
this Q&A and I'm starving and I need to eat. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this little Q&A video. I don't think it's gonna be short when it's not even a little one. It's gonna be a long one. Um, but yeah, I hope I answered some of the questions that you guys been wanting to know. Uh, I hope I did a good enough job. I feel like I didn't really, but I tried. <laughs> Um, but, um, as I said, I definitely want to do more face cam video, want to, you know, talk to you guys more. So hopefully, uh, it won't be another month until I do another one. We'll see. I mean, let me know what other things you would like to see, you know, uh, outside of Minecraft and Origins stuff, uh, and cinematic role plays because those take time to, to come out. Like, when it comes to, like, real life videos, like, like, you know, like this, like what kind of other things you would like to see from me, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'm gonna go for now. I'm really gonna get some food. I'm super hungry. So yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day. Stay safe, uh, stay at home. <laughs> and let's hope that we can get through this virus uh, situation uh, as soon as possible. But yeah, uh, until that, I will see you guys later. Have a magical day. Can I still say that? I mean, I guess I can still say that now that I'm doing magical again. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go. Bye guys!